Assalamu alaikum. Last video we talked about the different steps used to prepare a curry fire. Today in this video I'm gonna show you how chromosomes are arranged in a curry fire. Scientists use some criteria to classify chromosomes in a curry fire. What are these criteria? Let's see. First, the size. Chromosomes in a curry fire are classified in decreasing order of size. That's to say, from the longest, chromosome 1, to the shortest, as we see here. Second, in pairs of homolox chromosomes. As you see here, chromosome, homolox chromosomes are grouped together. Chro uh, chromosome 1 with chromosome 1, 2 with 2, 3 with 3, and so on. And aside, we have the sex chromosomes, or chromosomes, X and Y. It was a male and X and X, it was a female. Third criteria used to classify chromosomes in a karyotype, it is based on the position of the centromere. Before talking about the position of the centromere, let's see how a chromosome is organized. A chromosome can be made of one chromatid with two arms, P arm or short arm, Q arm or long arm, joined with a centromere. Also, it can be made of two chromatids joined with a centromere. Based on the position of the centromere, scientists identify four types of chromosomes. Metacentric chromosome, submetacentric, acrocentric, and telocentric. This last one is not found in the human species. Let's start by the metacentric chromosome. In metacentric chromosome, the centromere is in the middle of a chrom of the chromosome, resulting in two arms, P and Q, of the same size approximately. Examples of chromosomes, metacentric chromosome 1, 3, 16, 19, and 20. In submetacentric chromosome, the centromere is slightly away from the middle of the chromosome. As you see, P is smaller than QR. Examples, we have chromosome 2, 4 till 12, 12, 17, 18, and X. In acrocentric chromosome, the centromere is away from the middle of the chromosome. As you see here, P is quite small compared to QR. And we have examples 13, 14, 15, 21, 22, and Y chromosomes. Finally, in telocentric chromosome, the centromere is at the end of the chromosome. No PR is found. And as we already said, this chromosome is not found in the human species. The fourth criteria used by the scientists to classify a chromosome in the karyotype is the banding pattern. What does this mean? Banding pattern refers to the alternating bands, dark and light, resulting from a staining technique. As you see here, in chromosome 4 or, or 7, we have dark bands and light band, dark and clear. So, chromosomes, our uh, scientists can use this band to determine which this chromosome is. Finally, a summary, chromosomes in a karyotype are classified or arranged in increasing order of size, in pairs of homologous chromosomes, according to the position of the centromere, and finally, according to the banding pattern. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video, inshallah.